think maybe a Trump. Trump. <laughs> I would like Camilla Harris to be the winner. However, I think Donald Trump will win. Harris, the woman. Trump may be the winner, but at the same time, I don't want him to be the winner. <laughs> it was a bit of a disaster last time. I hope it's not Trump. Yeah, anybody but Trump. Anybody but Trump. I think Harris, because Trump is saying useless things. I don't think it's like necessary. Trump. <laughs> the other one is just like a dumb. I don't like it. Yeah. Because I mean, Trump will consider the economy, but I don't think the other one will. Kamala Harris. I mean, she's a woman and not many women presidents have been on. So I think she's kinder and I think more people will vote for her. But if you push me, I put money on it, I'd put Harris right now. Uh, I think Harris is, will win. If she can hold on, to Pennsylvania, it's very difficult for him to win. And I think his campaign is floundering. So I think because of the system and the, let's say, the people who are Trump sort of supporters, I think those two factors combined will kind of outweigh Camilla Harris. I think she'll do very well in kind of New York and California and so on. But I think her appeal in like the Midwest and the central sort of states, I don't think it's uh, as high as what Donald Trump's are. And I think because of the points that you get with the different states, I think that's why Trump will unfortunately be back. I, I think possibly with Donald Trump. I think he's been uh, the victim of two assassination attempts. And uh, I think Kamala Harris has only given two interviews. I think the contrast there is quite telling. Who do I think is going to... I think, I think Kamala Harris. You know, like when Biden dropped out, there was a lot of like strong momentum. Like it sort of like... Uh, revitalized uh, the party, you know? So there's a lot of like good momentum. Uh, the debate, you know, like Trump kind of like uh, fizzled out. He got a bit too like uh, aggressive and angry. Kamala was a bit more like calm, collected, you know. And I, th I think people want that, you know. People don't want like an overly aggressive uh, and no tariffs, you know. Tariffs is bad, always. I'm from Japan. Kamala is doing well, I would say. Trump has always been very good in terms of marketing and, you know, drawing people's attention with his very controversial but also, you know, thought-provoking view. So it could go either way, I would say. Uh, I think Camilla Harris will win. I think. Yeah. I don't know why. I just think, I just think Trump's tried, Trump's failed, so I think maybe Camilla Harris. So I think, I think the relationship between China in particular and the United States is already quite tense. I think his rhetoric is probably quite negative in that regard. Um, whether or not that's in America's interest, I can't possibly comment, but I'm sure it's not in China's interest. Well, I don't think he has to against the China, but um, yeah, I think he can rebuild the economy because the inflation in America is pretty bad right now. I don't think any of them are, you know, qualified. You know, how, how can you say which one's better to be qualified? Because it's going to be, you know, individual foreign policies of these two, Republican or Democrat. But quite frankly, right now, I would say Kamala Harris. I don't want to leave Trump in charge of looking after Hong Kong, you know, looking after China's affairs with the U.S. I just don't trust the guy. China is showing its good faith towards the U.S., but the way the U.S. is operating and coming back with all these sanctions and stuff like that, I, I think mutual respect goes both ways. And I think the U.S. has got to change their ways. China is a, is a country that, you know, it's got to be um, in the world stage now. It's no longer just America. And I think there's some underlying issues that are very difficult. Chinese desires for the South China Sea, U.S. and Chinese uh, economic ambitions, artificial intelligence, a lot of... Technolo technological competition. I'm not sure anybody can make those things go away, but I do think she'll be better at it than, than Trump would be. I think we should always remember that Chinese people and American people really do love each other and feel a lot of affection, and we should rem try to remember the long history, the long positive history. Probably Kamala Harris. Yeah. Probably. Just because she's not crazy. <laughs> she still wants to be very friendly with you, Rip. So I think she will do well with Asia and other countries. Kamala Harris, I think. I think uh, Trump's too um, 
brash, maybe, you know, a little bit too, uh, too mean with it. I think Kamala Harris may handle it a bit nicer, maybe. Like Trump is very like anti-China for some reason, and uh, and he wants to put like tariffs uh, on everything coming in from China, which is kind of bad. At the end of the day, it hurts the consumer, you know. So I think I, I necessarily like not necessarily a good thing. I think Kamala is like the best one. They're just a bit more progressive in terms of like their foreign policy, I guess. So and you know like uh, if they're a bit more aggressive towards China, like they kind of hurts us, you know. So. So, I think if Harris is chosen as the next president, I believe that um, they will pursue a more diplomatic relation between U.S. and China, and hopefully leading to a better economic growth for both regions. I think in general, I think Harris will be better for that relationship. I think things have improved over the last few years relative to when Trump was in and certain arrangements got torn up. Um, so I think yeah, Harris will be better for just in general for Asia. Just be honest and, uh, and be a, a good citizen and uh, treat people right, uh, which Trump, you never believe what he says really. We hope that uh, they are not seeking for confrontations against other Asian countries because uh, I would say like it affects, especially as a younger generation, we feel that the impact towards the job and the uh, mar market, like the economies overall, will be quite severe. Well, first of all, uh, I would like her to continue a moderate, thoughtful path for U.S. international relations. I think the Biden administration has done a good job, and I'd like her to protect health care in the U.S. so that people have adequate health care and protect the rights of women and children. But I think maybe climate change, at least you know that if she comes in, they'll continue trying to work towards lowering emissions and stuff, and that probably won't be the case with Trump. So I think that alone is a good reason for the world to have Just in World War III, I guess that's all. That's good. Well, start with peace. <laughs> no more wars. <laughs> start there. <laughs>